Okay, we're back. Let's go uh, hang out with the beast. Tale as old as time. Let's get it over with you, filthy beast. Now that you've showed your real face, be fearful, because I have the schnibble on my side. If you think I'm scared by this so-called power invented by Azimuth, you're wrong, you little twerp. All I wanted from him was to rejuvenate the body of the bigwig I was using. Bigwig is not bad at all, especially the privileges. But it doesn't matter. You're young, you'll do. Beware of the schnibble, you beast. It will destroy you. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's nothing. <laughs> An odd description. <laughs> now, if we sit here long enough, uh, we will eventually get a game over. <laughs> Hiccups. They kill you. <laughs> I mean, seriously, this takes a long freaking time. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It seems that Woodruff, our young hero, failed because a new bigwig, even worse than the previous one, Took power. <laughs> Anyways, we actually have the solution to that since you can't get to this point without it. Actually, I guess you could. Huh. Never thought about it that way. You can't really get all the way up here and not have the items you need, really. Let's get it over with you, yeah, filthy. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, what you do is you eat this boozy yuli. Another quick save here. As we have a few more ways to screw this up. Hooray. Yep, we got to use this thing to capture the beast. I don't know how well this is showing up, but there's a very small hole here. Let's pretend we didn't see it. I think it's locked. And what is it that you're going to do now that you don't have any more Buzo Yorli to protect yourself? Oh, I'm hypnotized by the filthy beast. It's going to jump. It's all over. No, uh, no urgency, man. <laughs> the legend says that Woodruff, our young hero, fails in his quest. A sprutz knock with a leaking container. What's next? Yeah, all these game overs in this at this point are variations on a theme. Also, the time wise man talking with the wrong wise man's voice. <laughs> so I'm not gonna bother to fix the hole again, but uh... and what is it that you're going to do now that you don't have any more Buzo Yorli? To protect yourself! Oh, I'm hypnotized by the filthy beast! It's going to jump! It's all over! This is another point where if you wait long enough to do the fairly blindingly obvious thing, you will lose. <laughs> he will eventually jump at you. It takes way longer than it should take you to figure out what to do, though. <laughs> Considering there's not really much else you can do, aside from, uh... Yeah, there's literally nothing else you can do aside from the correct thing. <laughs> I 
Okay. <laughs> Anytime. This is one I actually didn't know existed until I saw it on YouTube, because I just kind of figured it would just sit here shaking until you, uh... <laughs> uh -oh. It seems that Woodruff, our young hero, failed because a new bigwig, even worse than the previous one, took power. That's a pretty awesome little uh, drawing. Whoa. To only be seen in a very, uh... specific circumstance that most people probably didn't. <laughs> Anyways, hope you remember to pick up your gum back off of the, uh, time syllable clock. Gross. And what is it that you're going to do now that you don't have any more Buzo Yorli to protect yourself? Oh! I'm hypnotized by the filthy beast! It's going to jump! It's all over! Otherwise, I'm gonna stop it there, Woodruff. <laughs> do, do, do. And now that the beast is dealt with, we've won the game. Hooray! keypad too. Also, I guess pretending to be the president. <laughs> Woodruff, as a both spiritual son, solemnly decided to accomplish the aims of the Schnibble. He was given the authority to govern by a population ready for change, and grateful that he rid the city of a tyrant who terrorized them. Woodruff, the bad with no childhood, became a popular president who reconciled Hubert's and Bazooks. During his tenure, the city prospered and opened itself to the outside world. The jungle was conquered. The first expeditions outside the region started at that time. There's any more talking. <laughs> oh, Woodruff the Conquistador. Ah. <laughs> also, no credits. You only get those at the very beginning after you watch the introduction. <laughs> and that was the bizarre adventure of Woodruff and the Schnibble. We never met the Schnibble. This was a concept. I wanted to meet the concept. <laughs> well, if you want to go all kind of metaphysical about it. I guess you could call Woodruff himself the Schnibble. <laughs> but I hate Woodruff. And you hate the Schnibble. Die, Schnibble. You did, like six times. Weren't you paying attention? <laughs> no. Yeah, that's fair. Anyways, that is the end of that. And next time we'll be back to something that's not full of food. <sighs> <laughs> Later.